Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. And we're back here live on the Mackey Motors post-game show here on Kick 106.7. And joining me now from the Glenna Rasta Wildcats, it is Paige Clucky. Paige, thank you so much for joining me here tonight. You're welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, great win for you guys here for tonight against a Rolling Valley Conference foe. Um, you know, but they hung in really good here for tonight, Peyton Trudan did. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what you saw from Peyton Trudan here tonight. Um, they have like a really strong back row and they were scrappy and on the floor for every single ball they could and just the hustle was really there for them for sure. Talk to me about some of that that, that first set. Uh, it was a good strong victory for you guys 25 to 13. Controlled the majority of that set but uh, what was going well for you guys from the start? I felt like our back row was really strong tonight and like our passes were there and stuff which helped Addy get the sets outside into middle for the hitters to really like hit and be strong with that. So I was really proud of our team for that. It did seem like here tonight you guys were kind of switching around uh, some players in different positions from what I saw. Um, you know, we got to see Brayley Bach a little bit. Uh, we also got to see Morgan Tool play it kind of in that front row position too. So what was kind of the decision behind some of those? Well, we knew going into it, like, it would be a good game for them to get their developmental skills in and, like, help them because next year they're going to be playing a lot. So we just figured this would be a great opportunity for them to get in there and get some hits and just get the feel of things for, like, a varsity match. And, you know, they, they got to play pretty much a, a full game here for tonight, switching between everybody. Um, how did they feel kind of afterwards? Uh, I think they were really nervous going into it, but, you know, I'm just kind of like, go out there and play your game and you'll be fine and just be confident in yourself because that's like the main thing that you need to play a varsity game is just confidence and everything. So I think they felt really good and proud of each other and everything after. Yeah, absolutely. And I uh, I know the one the one thing coming into tonight is Allison Dreesen was out with a, a minor injury. We'll be back here soon. Um, so did it kind of affect you guys position-wise at all tonight? Um, just a little bit. I mean, we're used to just talking and like everybody just working good together, but like during practice, we'd put Elizabeth and Brianna in there to like get the gist of things since Allison's out. So I felt like we did pretty good tonight with a little bit of a change up. Absolutely. And I know that you and Vanessa were kind of sharing the, the, the duties up front tonight. Um, how do you feel uh, your kill attempts were going here tonight? I felt like we were pretty good. And Vanessa and I do a really good job communicating, like whether I tell her lines open or she tells me donuts open. Like we just we work so good together. And I, I just yeah. You know, and the one thing that's hard to believe is that we're getting into the end of the season. Literally four games left or four matches left for you guys. Um, you travel over to Ogden. You got Pantradan again uh, coming up on Monday, if that's the correct date, which hopefully it yes. is. It is. <laughs> yes. um, so you get Ogden and you get Pantradan again. Um, what's sort of the thought process behind some of those matches? Uh, I think we just got to be ready to play again, and I'm sure Peyton Trudan's going to get ready and bring it to us. So we just have to be, like, ready and everything. Communication has to be there, and, yeah. Absolutely. Well, Paige, thank you so much for joining us here on the show, and uh, we wish you good luck on Monday against Ogden and Peyton Trudan. All right. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to step away here for 60 seconds. we got head coach Krista Bunt coming up next here on the Mackey Motors post-game show. And we are back here on the Mackey Motors post-game show here on Kick 106.7 from the Gatorade Broadcast Booth. Joining me now is head coach of the Glitter Rossa Wildcast, Krista Bunt. Coach, really good, strong win against Peyton Trudan, a good game to kind of get some of those other players into the mm -hmm. contest. Got to feel pretty happy about this win. Yeah, I, I, it, was, it was a good, um, we knew coming in that that was something that we hopefully wanted to be able to do. Um, was just kind of uh, use this game not only for competitive minutes but also developmental minutes for some of our um, players that don't a lot of times get maybe some of that in, in more of the um, uh, higher you know higher ranked teams in the conference and so um, just really proud of how the girls played tonight. You know we're coming into the end of the season which is hard to believe uh, and here tonight, I know there was still probably some uh, some points where you still want to improve upon. But mm -hmm. um, from your perspective, what were some of those things that were clicking for your team tonight? Uh, definitely serving. Um, we, I've I've said all season long that if I if I could have seven to eight girls out there, I feel like we have some of that depth this year, which isn't always the case in in sometimes smaller schools. And so I think um, we've got just some girls that can that can serve strong, that, you know, that cover well. And so to be able to let them kind of showcase some of that, I think is just a neat opportunity. Plus it kind of gets the nerves out for them. Um, I, I've always said we are one injury away from having to do a complete lineup change, <laughs> yeah. you know? And so to be able to develop some of that uh, ahead of time um, or kind of have it as a secondary plan, I think is, 
is only a, a benefit to, to the girls and our team as a whole. You know, I think the one player that really stepped up here tonight was Brianna Schoen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I hadn't seen her into the lineup until tonight, like you said, getting some of those other players some experience. Uh, unofficially, I have her for at least eight aces yes. here for tonight. So yes. you got to feel proud about her. Yeah, absolutely. And and her numbers in practice, so I kind of stat the girls in practice as mm -hmm. well. And her numbers in practice, they they look good. You know, I mean, that I... I I just didn't have any any qualms about having her back there. She just she is a she's a solid server above 90%, which is I mean that's varsity level. And so I yeah, absolutely she stepped up and and did what I fully expected her to do. So it's exciting. Absolutely. And um I know in sets 2 and 3 it was a little bit of a grind there. Yeah. Peter Dan was getting back some points and it was kind of going back and forth there. Yep. Uh what was kind of your perspective? What was going right for Peter Dan at that time? Yeah. I you know, I think that so our first set we rotated in a couple of different um, girls, but then that second and third set is where really um, those varsity reserve players came in. And so for them, it's nerves, you know. I, they ha you know, you just got to kind of work through some of that. Um, also, I think when you have done a lot of um, junior varsity, that serve receive is just different than varsity serve receive. Um, it, no matter no matter where you're at in the conference, your varsity is just going to look different for, for serving. And so, you know, I think working through some of that, again, I, I, there was not any point where I felt like, ooh, we need to kind of substitute some things in here. Um, it's good for them to work through some of that, the nerves and seeing some of those types of, of serves and developing that that mental toughness that mental fortitude to work through some of that and you pick up win number 10 here on on the season double digit wins which is a really good um factor because you get a lot of girls who are going to be returning next yeah. season um but you get ogden coming up yep. on monday and you get paint Dan again so yeah. what's kind of your initial thoughts on those two teams again yeah so i think for us um really looking at monday we won't have a practice with everyone back and so really using that just as a time to get back into the groove um, we have another another couple of games that that week um, this coming week and so and then we finish it out with cam who is going to be um, obviously their their number one here in the conference right mm -hmm. now and so um i I want to just see us kind of hammer, just hammer down and do what we've been working on all season. Absolutely right. Well, uh, Coach Bunt, thank you so very much for joining yes. us on the show, and we wish you good luck on Monday. Yeah, thank you so much, Tyler. Have a I, good night. Absolutely. You too.